Hey guys, it's Carrie. Lots of amazing sea animals today. Do you know that fish don't actually breathe water? They filter dissolved oxygen from it. Puffer fish can inflate into a ball shape to evade predators. They fill their elastic stomachs with huge amounts of water or air. Sea star. Most have spiny skin and five arms, although some can grow as many as 50 arms. The arms are covered with pincer-like organs and suckers. Prevotoceros. They are an extinct genus of ammonite. They were fast moving nectonic carnivores. Cuperoceros was a genus of nautiloid cephalopod from the Permian period. It resembled a spiny ammonite. Ammonite? These mollusks are more closely related to living colloids octopuses, squid and cuttlefish. Dungeness crab, it inhabits eel grass beds and water bottoms along the west coast of North America. Sea horse, they possess swim bladders to remain buoyant in the water and utilize their gills to breathe. They are unusual animals with their horse-shaped head, eyes like a chameleon which can move independently and a prehensile tail. Let me know what your favourite sea animal is. Cuttlefish. When a shrimp or fish is in range, the cuttlefish aims and shoots out its two tentacles to seize its prey. Nautilus has the shell that protects it and acts as a buoyancy organ. Chronosaurus reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour or 65 kilometers per hour. Basilisk was a mythological beast and said to have the power to cause death with a single glance. Mosasaurus was smaller than Megalodon. Seahorse, they use their elongated snouts to suck in plankton and small crustaceans. Axolotl belongs to the salamander family. It has external gills. Snapping turtle, they can tolerate brackish water. Baby octopus, it is called a larva. The next stage is called juvenile until it reaches adulthood. Squid, they mainly eat fish and crustaceans. They are known to be cannibalistic as well. Most fish don't have eyelids. The only fish that can blink is a shark. Fish are cold-blooded, unlike us who are warm-blooded. There is an exception though. Tuna and mackerel sharks have warm blood like us. A fish's slimy scales helps them glide through the water more easily. Blue-ringed octopus, they are stunning. When they are alarmed, these animals will show off their eponymous iridescent blue rings that cover their body and arms. Octopus are ocean creatures that are most famous for having eight arms and bulbous heads. They have three hearts and blue blood. They squirt ink to deter predators and being boneless, they can squeeze into or out of tight spaces. They are quite intelligent and have been observed using tools. Octopus have an excellent sense of touch. Their suckers have receptors that enable an octopus to taste what it is touching. 
The only hard part of their bodies is a sharp parrot-like beak that is on the underside where the arms converge. Octopus have powerful jaws and venomous saliva. When octopus is mate, they die soon after. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Queen trigger fish, they are aggressively defensive of their territory and can inflict a strong bite, especially during the breeding season. Koi fish, they symbolize luck, prosperity and good fortune. Clownfish, in the wild they all form symbiotic mutualisms with sea anemones. Flying fish can make powerful self-propelled leaps out of the water where their long wing-like fins enable gliding for considerable distances above the water's surface. The main reason for this behaviour is thought to be to escape from underwater predators. Although these periods of flight do expose them to an attack by avian predators. The record for a flying fish being able to glide over the water is 45 seconds in flight. Barbados is known as the land of the flying fish and the fish is one of the national symbols of the country. Giant squid and some other large squid species maintain neutral buoyancy in seawater through an ammonium chloride solution which is found throughout their bodies and is lighter than seawater. It is the second largest mollusk and one of the largest of all extant invertebrates. It is exceeded only by the colossal squid which may have a mantle nearly twice as long. Reef squid they have long oval fins that extend along the edge of its mantle, giving them a superficial similarity to cuttlefish. Sally Lightfoot Crab, they have the ability to climb vertical slopes and exceptional agility. Blue Swimmer Crab, they are powerful swimmers and voracious hunters and scavengers. Shrimp, they are swimming crustaceans with long narrow muscular abdomens and long antennae. Unlike crabs and lobsters, shrimp have well developed pleopods and slender walking legs. They are more adapted for swimming than walking. Spiny lobster can be easily distinguished from true lobsters by their very long thick spiny antennae and by the lack of chelae or claws on the first four pairs of walking legs. Although the females of most species have a small claw on the fifth pair. Clawed lobster, they have long bodies with muscular tails and live in crevices or burrows on the sea floor. Three of their five pairs of legs have claws, including the first pair, which are usually much larger than the others. Lobsters are invertebrates with a hard protective exoskeleton. Like most arthropods, lobsters must shed to grow, which does leave them vulnerable. During the shedding process, several species change colour. Lobsters have eight walking legs. The front three pairs bear claws, the first of which are larger than the others. The front pincers are also biologically considered legs, so they belong to the order decapods. Although lobsters are largely bilaterally symmetrical, like most other arthropods, some genera possesses unequal specialized claws. Piranha, they are aggressive predators.
that lurk in vegetation and ambush and chase prey. They sometimes work in groups to kill larger prey. Frogfish, they are small, short and stocky and like this one, covered in spinules and other appendages to aid in camouflage. Large mouse bass, the upper jaw or maxilla of a large mouse bass extends beyond the rear margin of the orbit. That's where they get their name from. Clown trigger fish is a demersal marine fish. The head is large and represents approximately one third of the body length. The mouth is small, terminal and has strong teeth. Anglerfish, there's a light that emanates from the end of the fishing rod like extension on its forehead. It uses this surprising adaption to lure prey out of the dark and close enough for its razor sharp jaws to strike. Anomalocaris, it is distantly related to modern day arthropods including crabs and lobsters. It didn't survive the mass extinction. Trilobite, they are extinct marine arthropods and one of the earliest known groups of arthropods. Pleuroceros ammonite was a type of cephalopod that lived during the early Jurassic period. The most distinctive features of these creatures were their tightly coiled shells which featured prominent ridges and spikes. Nautilus pompilius it has a beautiful pearly shell inside. Marine reptiles. These are the reptiles that can live in and around the seas. For example, sea turtles and saltwater crocodiles. Sea turtles have been alive since dinosaurs lived on our planet. Most sharks are cold-blooded but some like the great white shark are warm-blooded. Mammals like sea lions, seals and walruses are called pinnipeds as they have winged feet. Sea turtle? Unlike other turtles, sea turtles cannot retract their flippers and head into their shells. Their streamlined shells and large paddle-shaped flippers make them very agile and graceful swimmers. In the water, their rear flippers are used as rudders for steering. Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle. It has a triangular shaped head with a slightly hooked beak. Adults are generally a greyish green colour on top with a pale yellowish bottom shell. The hatchlings are darkly coloured on both sides. Each of the front flippers has one claw while the back flippers may have one or two. Ready slider turtle? They have poor hearing but good vision and are very sensitive to vibrations. When startled or threatened they will quickly slide off rocks or logs back into the water. Weedy sea dragon, they are only found in Australian coastal waters. Although they appear to be seaweed, they are actually bony fish. Moray eel, it has a very strong sense of smell and uses this strong sense of smell to find food or a spawning site. Angel shark, they are a really unique species of shark. They have flat bodies and extremely long pelvic and pectoral fins, so they are often mistaken for rays. Hermit crab, they are crustaceans found in shallow waters all over the world. They use discarded shells as protection and will have to replace them 
as they grow bigger. These shells are essential because of their soft bodies with just hard exoskeletons in front. They are semi-terrestrial creatures inhabiting both land and water. When a crab leaves its previous shell, the smaller crabs will line up to check if it's a better fit. They are equipped with two pairs of walking legs and a couple of claws. Notice that their two eyes are on stalks, making it easy to see things around their environment. Giant Cuttlefish The giant Australian cuttlefish is the world's largest cuttlefish and like many other cephalopods, it is able to camouflage itself exceptionally well. Horseshoe crab is a hard-shelled invertebrate found on the seafloor in warmer shallow coastal waters. It has a hard outer shell, five pairs of legs and a long thin tail which it uses for changing direction when swimming. It is actually not a crab and is more closely related to spiders and scorpions. Sperm whale, it is the world's largest toothed whale and unlike the baleen whales, sperm whales are active predators eating large squid, bony fish and sharks. Their teeth are conical shaped for catching prey. They have a large brain and the most powerful sonar which they use to help find their prey in the dark deep sea. This causes them to have a block shaped head making them very easy to recognize. They are able to dive to 1000 meters and stay down for up to two hours. They live in very deep water. They are named after the waxy substance, spermaceti, which is found in their heads. It is an oil sac that helps the whale focus sound. Spermaceti was used in oil lamps, lubricants, and candles. The elongated body is a grey colour with small stubby flippers and a large powerful tail. Sperm whales give birth to only one calf at a time. The mothers form a nursery at the surface to look after the calves while the mothers take turns to dive deep for food. Sperm whales are the largest of the odontocetes and the most sexually dimorphic cetaceans with males considerably larger than females. Grey whale, it has a dark slate grey colour and is covered by characteristic grey white patterns which are scars left by parasites which drop off in its cold feeding grounds. These patterns can help scientists identify different individuals. They have two blowholes on top of their head which can create a distinctive heart-shaped blow at the surface in calm wind conditions. They can grow to nearly 5 metres in length. Goldfish they are a relatively small member of the carp family. Blue sea dragon. They are pelagic. They float upside down by using the surface tension of the water to stay up, where they are carried along by the winds and ocean currents. Orca. It's also called the killer whale. It is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family of which it is the largest member. Goblin shark, it has a distinctive shaped snout and an impressive array of long pointed teeth. 
It has a shovel-like snout, flabby body and a tail with a weakly developed lower lobe. One of the distinctive features of the goblin shark is its protrusible mouth. The mouth can retract to a position under the eye or extend forward under the snout. When feeding, the goblin shark extends its jaws forward faster than any other species of shark to catch its prey. Prey would include bony fishes, squids and crustaceans. The underside of the snout has many pores that are external openings. There is electricity detecting organs here. The goblin shark most likely hunts its prey by detecting electric fields. Great white shark, like many other sharks, have rows of serrated teeth behind the main ones, ready to replace any that break off. When the shark bites, it shakes its head side to side, helping the teeth saw off large chunks of flesh. Great white sharks, like other mackerel sharks, have larger eyes than other shark species in proportion to their body size. The iris of the eye is a deep blue instead of black. Salmon are anadromous. They hatch in the shallow gravel beds of rivers. As an adult, they return to the sea and return to their freshwater birthplace to reproduce. Oxfish, when stressed or injured, it will release the neurotoxin tetrodotoxin from its skin into the water. Megalodon, it is the largest prehistoric shark to have ever existed and one of the most powerful predators on earth. It was a prehistoric monster shark that first appeared about 20 million years ago. Its teeth grew to 16 centimeters or 7 inches in length and it would have fed on large prehistoric whales. As teeth are lost, broken or worn down, they are replaced by new teeth. Megalodon may have had hundreds of teeth at any one time. They swallowed their food in huge chunks. They became extinct when global water temperatures dropped. That reduced the area where Megalodon, a warm water shark, could thrive. Because of the changing climate, entire species that Megalodon preyed upon vanished forever. Humpback whale, they can grow to over 18 metres in length and live up to 90 years. Humpback whales have some of the longest migrations of any mammal with some populations swimming over 8,000 kilometres between breeding and feeding grounds. They filter feed for tiny krill or small pelagic fishes and are totally harmless to people. Belemnite They are an extinct order of squid-like cephalopods that existed from the late Triassic to late Cretaceous. Orthoceras was an ancient cephalopod that lived about 370 million years ago. The name means straight horn, referring to its long straight conical shell. Blue whale, they have the largest penis on earth. An erect blue whale penis is 12 inches or 30 centimeters in diameter and 10 feet or three meters in length. It is fibroelastic like those of the blue whale's artiodactyl relatives. The retracted penis curves in an S-shaped loop and stays inside the body. When erect, it peeks out of the genital slit. Blue whales also have a distal spiral valve as a spermatic tube. Cetaceans do not have scrotums like terrestrial mammalian males do. Blood goes directly to the testes. The females have a long vulva and two nipples on each side.
please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and will always reply to your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.